how she became the skinny version of herself. Like literally the skinny version. She transformed from to all of a sudden. I'm sure it was a long and hard way to go, but I want to tell you what she actually did and if this is the way to go or if there's something else out there. I did the research for you and found out that she did the third food diet. The third food diet says it will turn on your skinny gene. The skinny gene means, if there's even a skinny gene, it is based on sirtuins. Sirtuins are seven kind of proteins within your body who will improve your metabolism, your inflammation in your body, and also your lifespan. Those kind of foods are kale, strawberries, berries in general, um, olive oil, walnuts, turmeric, dark chocolate. All those kind of foods contain a lot of antioxidants. That's why they're good for your inflammation within your body, good for metabolism and also good for your lifespan. So that's nothing new, really. The surf food diet also only allows you to eat 1000 calories a day. 1000 calories, that's literally what I have for breakfast, almost nothing. So if you only eat those kind of foods I just said and maybe do some exercising and obviously only have 1000 calories a day, I mean, you the only thing you can do is losing weight. That's not rocket science. You literally will lose weight after if you literally follow what they say. But here's the thing, because we restrict your body on to only 1000 calories a day. So what happens? Your body gets rid of their storage, which is good. Fat storage and glycogen storage. Glycogen is in our muscle. So we obviously want to get rid of our um, fat storage, these muffin tops. That's perfect. That's a good thing. But we also get rid of our glycogen to get energy. So what happens, the thing is, every molecule, glycogen, needs three to four molecules water. Means if we get rid of glycogen, we also flush out a lot of water. It is called water weight. So here's the thing. For example, if you lose weight, one third of this weight is fat and two third of this weight is only water. So let's do the math, easy, maybe 30 pound. If you lose 30 pound, 10 pound is fat and 20 pound is water. So here's the thing, because diets are hard to keep them up for a longer period of time, because it's, it's too much for your body and it's also too much for your mind to really restrict yourself to not eat as many calories. So at some point you will go back to normal. Once you go back to normal, what your body does, it will replenish the storage. Maybe not the fat storage, but definitely the glycogen storage. And what happens, glycogen, all the water goes back into your body. Means you will gain automatically these 20 pounds again, you have literally just lost. So you only lost 10 pound. After 30, it's only 10. But there's one more thing. If you restrict yourself, your body is too smart. We can't trick our body. Because if you restrict yourself, your body thinks, oh my God, maybe I will go back into starvation. I need to storage or I need to slow down my metabolic rate means your body needs less energy to function. So what happens once you've done the diet, your body will function on less energy, less calories, right? So you will maybe go back to normal eating. You will eat the normal calories and you think, okay, it will balance it out. But your body now needs less calories to function. Less energy means you will eat too many calories for your body. So you will gain weight. Yo-yo effect. I'm sure you have heard about it. That's why Every diet and even this diet, it's kind of tricky to keep it up for the long run. That's why I want to give you five long lasting health tips how to lose weight. First one, stop eating processed foods because processed foods are full of fat, full of sugar and therefore full of hidden calories we don't even know. Like for example, if you eat like cookies or like a chocolate bar or something, sometimes you see it's like 300 calories. That's a lot of stuff. If you're only allowed to eat 1000, like think about the diet, you can only have like three bars. That's all, that's all. So be careful of what you eat. Everything what is processed has a lot of calories. It's very dense in calories and fat, sugar, whatever. That's why it's so good and that's why we crave it so much. I did a video about cravings. If you wanna watch the craving video, it's super interesting and I talk about these craving things and the processed foods. Second thing, eat slowly because your stomach needs 20 minutes to send a signal towards your brain to tell your brain, okay, I'm full or I'm satisfied. If you eat slowly, 
you have time or your stomach has time to send the signal up to your brain and can tell you, okay, now it's time. If you eat fast, you eat and eat and eat and eat and eat, and usually you, I'm sure you reached your satisfaction in 15 minutes, but you keep eating because you don't feel anything. You don't feel satisfied yet. So you will overeat. And then afterwards you're like, oh my God, there was way too much food because you ate too fast. You didn't give your body time to realize or to recognize, okay, um, that's enough. Your stomach feels best when it's only two thirds full, like 70% ish. That's the best. That's what you should achieve. That's why eat slowly, be mindful and give your body time to actually tell you that's enough. Number three, eat only until 80% full. Eating slowly will help you because if you eat slowly, you will have this feeling at some point, you know, when you're like, um, I'm actually fine now, but you could still keep eating because you see something still on your plate and you're like, I can finish this. I'm not that full yet. But that's exactly the point when you have to stop. Even if you have still something on your plate, don't eat it. If you have this feeling, mm, I guess I'm okay, stop. Because if you only eat until 80% full, you will eat less calories. Less calories means less weight gain. Number four, intermittent fasting. I did another video about intermittent fasting. If you want to have more information about intermittent fasting, definitely watch the video I did already. Why is intermittent fasting good for losing weight? Well, you have only a specific period of time to eat. And this is usually between eight and 10 hours. And because you have such a little time to eat, you will most likely eat less than usual. You will most likely, definitely, most definitely, skip one complete meal per day. Like means like maybe four to 500 calories. You just skip it because you don't have enough time. And that's why it is so good. On top of that, your insulin sensitivity will get improved. So our fat storage will get eaten. So we're like, mm. that's why, as I said, if you want to have more information about intermittent fasting, check out the other video. But that's why intermittent fasting is so helpful also to lose some additional weight. Number five, 30 minutes of exercising every single day. So what you want to achieve that your calorie consumption is higher than your calorie intake. So whatever you eat should be less than what you burn per day, right? If this is balanced it out, if this is level, you will not lose weight. You need to burn more calories than you actually eat. This makes sense, right? So you burn during the day a lot of calories anyway, but if you do additional 30 minutes of work of a workout, you will burn even more. And on top of that, if you keep this up, you will gain more muscle. More muscle mass means more calories will get burned because muscle needs a lot of calories or a lot of energy to keep them functioning and that's why it's so good if you have more muscles um you will burn more calories that's why sometimes you see all these like skinny bitches like totally toned and like muscly like he can eat or she can eat everything and she will not gain a single pound why because the muscle needs so much energy to function it will eat up all these calories they have eaten Super easy. The more muscle mass you have, the better. So that was the short card. Definitely don't go for a diet. Listen to these health tips I just gave you. No processed foods. I need to read up. Eat slowly. Eat until 80% full. Intermittent fasting helps too. And exercising daily. If this was helpful. Give me them thumbs up. Give me them comments below. Whatever you want to ask me, I'm more than happy to answer all your questions. Don't forget to watch the videos Intermittent Fasting and Cravings. I know we all have cravings. Though that's why it's definitely a must watch. It's super interesting. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe down here. So you will get notified about the new videos released daily. Don't miss out. And I will see you hopefully in the next video. You have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.